In the labyrinth of television history, where every channel offers a portal to a different world, there are those rare shows that etch themselves into our memories like the first taste of a childhood treat. One such enigma was the 1983 TV series, Manimal. Do you remember that moment, suspended in time, when you stumbled upon this hidden gem? The curiosity it ignited, the bewitching blend of crime-solving and supernatural mystique. Perhaps you recall the excitement of witnessing Dr. Jonathan Chase's uncanny transformations into a panther or a hawk, a secret gift that turned him into the ultimate shape-shifting detective. As the scenes flickered on the screen, did you find yourself mesmerized by the seamless interplay between the gritty world of crime and the mystical forces that danced at the edges of reality? Manimal dared to blend genres in a way that was as audacious as it was captivating, leaving an indelible mark on anyone who tuned in. Those nights spent on the edge of your seat, following Dr. Chase and his trusty sidekick Ty as they unraveled mysteries, must surely have left you with a treasure trove of memories. Now, let's take a moment to journey back to that time, peeling back the layers of the show's creation and reception. Imagine exploring the curious tidbits that gave life to Manimal, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes, the hidden inspirations, and the curious twists of fate that brought it to life. From the show's conception to the intricate practical effects that conjured the transformation sequences, each detail weaves a richer tapestry of appreciation for the show that dared to challenge the norm. So, buckle up for a dive into the past, a journey filled with surprises, and revelations about a series that defied expectations and left an indelible mark on television history. Ready to explore the secrets that make Manimal an enduring enigma. Let's unlock the vault of random facts that shed light on this captivating show, where mystery and the supernatural collide in spectacular fashion. And now, without further ado, let the revelations begin. Get ready to explore the hidden layers, to uncover the tales that have long remained obscured by the sands of time. Because every show has a story, and Manimal's tale is one that deserves to be told. Be told. Be told. Be Manimal, a French affair that transcended time and borders in the annals of television history, few shows have sparked such a resounding transatlantic craze as the 1983 series Manimal. While its reception in the United States might have been lukewarm at best, across the Atlantic, a fervor was brewing that would solidify its place in pop culture lore. The show's unexpected journey from modest origins to soaring success in France has become a captivating tale of fandom and fascination. From the moment Manimal graced French screens, it was clear that something extraordinary was afoot. The series, with its unique blend of crime-solving and shape-shifting intrigue, captured the imagination of French audiences unlike any other. Rerun after rerun, the ratings didn't merely climb, they soared to unprecedented heights. But the zenith of its popularity came in 1988, when a daring broadcasting experiment unfolded. In a move that now seems almost audacious, French broadcasters presented viewers with a choice, a choice that inevitably led to Manimal. The concept was simple yet captivating, viewers were asked to phone in and select the TV series they wished to see on their screens. The options were varied, but the outcome was unanimous. Manimal dominated the polls with a breathtaking landslide. Phone lines surged with an unprecedented volume of calls, defying distance and cost. The people had spoken, and they wanted their dose of Dr. Jonathan Chase, and his uncanny ability to metamorphose into any creature. Notably, the show's triumphant march in France extended to the release of its DVD in 2012. Astonishingly, this was a full three years ahead of its availability in the very country that birthed the series, the United States. This curious reversal of release schedules underlined the show's profound influence across the Atlantic. French fans, known for their fervent appreciation of the arts, were treated to a tangible keepsake of their devotion long before their American counterparts. Yet, behind the curtain of success, an intriguing mystery lurked. A perceptive eye might have noticed a small yet significant detail in the show's opening sequence. There, in a fleeting moment, was a scene of the enigmatic JC, raising his glass in a toast to an unseen companion. That companion, as it turns out, was Brooke McKenzie, a character introduced in the seventh episode titled Manimal, Breath of the Dragon. This curious inclusion hinted at a production timeline incongruity. Had all eight episodes been filmed before the series ever hit the airwaves? The answer, as it turns out, is a mix of serendipity and unforeseen circumstances. 
The toast scene in the introduction was indeed taken from the seventh episode, which implies that a significant portion of filming had been completed before the show's premiere. However, fate had other plans. Just as Manimal was gathering momentum, the production was abruptly halted. The reasons behind this sudden cessation remain shrouded in speculation, leaving fans with a bittersweet cocktail of episodes and unanswered questions. The tale of Manimal in France is one of fervor and fascination that transcended borders and defied expectations. From its meteoric rise in popularity to its curious DVD debut, the show etched its mark on French television history while leaving behind tantalizing mysteries that continue to captivate aficionados. A legacy of Manimal stands as a testament to the unpredictable journey of television fandom, reminding us that sometimes, across the sea, lies an entirely different story. Manimal resurfaces, shapeshifting superpower takes a CGI leap in the realm of 1980s television. Few shows left as lasting an impression as the short-lived yet unforgettable series, Manimal. Created by Glenna Larson, this cult classic centered around the enigmatic Jonathan Chase, a man gifted with the extraordinary ability of shapeshifting. While the show's initial practical effects captivated audiences, it was the unexpected crossover with Nightman that rekindled the mystique surrounding Chase, albeit in a modernized form. The heart of Manimal lay in Jonathan Chase's unique superpower, the power of shapeshifting. With a mere thought, he could transform into any animal he chose, a talent that gave him an edge in solving crimes alongside his detective partner. This supernatural gift added an element of intrigue and fantasy to the crime procedural genre, setting it apart from its contemporaries. Years later, creator Glenna Larson breathed new life into the character by orchestrating a crossover with another of his creations, Nightman. In a move that surprised many, the classic practical effects transformation that had become synonymous with Manimal was eschewed in favor of a cutting-edge CGI sequence. This bold step brought Chase's animalistic metamorphoses into the digital age, simultaneously delighting original fans while attracting a new generation to his captivating abilities. Interestingly, the show's global reach encountered an unexpected linguistic quirk. In the Spanish dubbing of Manimal, the protagonist's insistence on being addressed by his initials, JC, led to an unusual moniker, Jodeci. This transformation of his name not only strayed far from its original form, but also added an extra syllable, creating an unforeseen challenge in matching lip movements during dubbing. Some have pondered whether opting for a simpler approach, such as adopting the name Jesse in foreign languages while retaining the English pronunciation, might have been a smoother linguistic choice. In an era that birthed a multitude of memorable television shows, Manimal managed to carve its niche through its unique premise, unforgettable transformations, and a touch of cross-dimensional reinvention. As the world of television continues to evolve, the legacy of Manimal endures as a testament to the power of shapeshifting imagination. French acclaim and American scrutiny, the enigmatic appeal of 1,983 seconds Manimal in the annals of television history. Few shows have stirred as much transatlantic divergence in reception as the 1983 series Manimal. While American audiences have perpetuated a tradition of bemused derision, the show's reputation in France tells a markedly different tale. Hailed for its laudable performances and opulent production, Manimal found an unexpected home among French critics who bemoan the ephemerality of its existence. In the eyes of its fervent French admirers, the show's brief lifespan stands in stark contrast to the glut of inexplicably enduring American series, often festooned with an excess of tawdry indulgence. To these discerning critics, Manimal is a casualty of an industry too quick to condemn the unique and praiseworthy. Pitted against the backdrop of mindless American fare, the show's quick demise becomes a testament to the enigma of taste. Intriguingly, the very aspect that draws disparagement from one side of the Atlantic serves as a badge of honor on the other. Jonathan Chase, the titular character, insists on the moniker JC a preference indicative of his multifaceted nature. This moniker is emblematic of his affable charm, but also hints at his concealed duality, allowing for a degree of intimacy with those he holds dear. 
Beyond his alter ego, J.C., S. collection of silken bathrobes paints a portrait of elegance and affluence. These luxurious garments, emblazoned with his initials, are not just a sartorial statement but a manifestation of his carefully cultivated image. The robes envelop him in an air of mystique, perhaps mirroring the very essence of the show itself. Interestingly, amidst fervent discussions of Manimal's potential revival, a French production company contemplated resurrecting the series with its original ensemble. Alas, this endeavor remained an unrealized dream, a tantalizing what if confined to the realm of missed opportunities. As the divide in opinions persists, it's clear that Manimal remains ensconced in a web of contradictions, a series that incites both mockery and adulation. While French critics and audiences alike venerate its entertainment value, Americans perpetuate a ritual of disdain, one that rarely hinges on concrete critique. In the world of television, as in life, taste remains an impenetrable enigma. 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 As we bid adieu to the captivating realm of Manimal, we find ourselves not merely at the end of a television series, but at the precipice of our own reflections. The intertwining of human and animal, the mystique of transformation, and the dance between the natural and supernatural have been our companions through this timeless journey. With each episode, we embarked on a voyage that extended beyond the confines of the screen. We embraced Dr. Jonathan Chase's enigmatic duality and shared in his quest for justice, his intricate connection with the animal kingdom sparking within us a recognition of our own intricate connections with the world around us. Manimal did not merely entertain, it stirred the embers of our own human animal essence, prompting us to contemplate the intricate tapestry of existence. As we now pause, I invite you to delve into the labyrinth of your memories, to conjure forth the moments that resonated most profoundly. Was it the thrill of the transformations, the allure of the unknown, or the profound sense of interconnectedness that left an indelible mark on your psyche? Share these fragments of recollection, for in doing so, we weave a collective tapestry that speaks to the impact of Manimal on our lives. Your thoughts, your memories, are the threads that keep the spirit of Manimal alive, an eternal reminder that within us all, there exists the potential for transformation, for understanding, and for embracing the wild within. Thank you for embarking on this retrospective journey, for your time, and for the resonance you've shared. Let the echoes of Manimal's enigma reverberate within you, an eternal reminder of our boundless connections with the world around us. Around us. Around us.